Hey there, welcome to another lovely day in beautiful South Florida. Today I'm wandering around Pompano Beach. Pompano Beach is located in North Broward County. And for places like Pompano Beach, the Barrier Island just east of the intercoastal is where you'll find a lot of those scenic views and activities that we associate a lot with South Florida. So let me take you for a spin and show you around. So let's start by crossing over the intercoastal on Atlantic Boulevard from the mainland, moving east to the barrier island, and we'll work our way north from here. So not only will you get a good look at what's going on around the area, but hopefully it'll give you a better idea of the relative layout here in Pompano Beach. Now, as you come across Atlantic Boulevard, just off Riverside over here to the left, you'll notice a bunch of boats docked on the intercoastal. This is a great location for boat rentals. There are several boat shops here that do rent Rentals. You can charter fishing trips, jet ski rentals. They even have scuba instruction available all within this location right here. It's definitely a good place to get started if you're unfamiliar with setting up a day on the water for the intercoastal or on the ocean. Just north of the boat club is the Rusty Hook. It's a small seafood tavern that has great views of the intercoastal. You can enjoy a nice drink and a meal while watching some boat traffic come through or even a sunset. It's something to keep in mind. On my right, you have a handful of other local dining options, which are just great. If you're into sweets, there is Razzleberries, which makes homemade ice cream. They serve sundaes, floats, shakes, iced coffee type drinks too. Razzleberry is very creative in their work. So if you have a sweet tooth and you're looking for something different, make sure you stop in here. And you talk about a variety of cuisine options, Falafel Beach Grill, they specialize in Mediterranean and Middle Eastern food. But really when you look at their menu, they have something for everyone. Salads, pitas, gyros, you name it. And judging from the business hours, it's definitely meant to be primarily a lunchtime spot. Falafel usually closes at 3 p.m. except for Saturdays, it's open to 6 p.m. Next door is Carlucci's, great little Italian spot, brick oven pizza, Oh, we're just getting started here. And right next door is Nine Face Sushi Cafe. Japanese, not your thing? That's cool, fine. Mora's Grill, which is also a Mediterranean spot. But for the setup and menu options, it's clearly intended as much more of a fine dining experience versus the falafel spot that we just talked about. And we're not done yet. Let's get back to our American roots. The next spot is called the Taco Joint. I'll give you one guess at what they serve here. They're open seven days a week, noon to 10 p.m., and when you need a taco fix, Taco Joint's got your back. Then we get to the corner, we have Briney's Irish Pub. It is a staple of Pompano Beach. It's been here for nearly 80 years. It is a dive bar with countless drink options, bar food, you know exactly what to expect when you show up to Briney's here. Terrific atmosphere that has kept this place going for more than three quarters of a century. And as we arrive at the beach, if you turn north, the first thing you may notice is the Pompano Beach Water Playground, which is great for families on a beach day. There's all kinds of splash pads, plus quick public beach access, and all the mentioned restaurant spots are conveniently located right on the other side of the street here. And say you don't wanna go that far for a snack or a bite to eat, well, that's cool too. As you can see, the beach is right behind me, and here is the Pompano Beach Snack Bar, which is very convenient. Super simple, hot dogs, pizzas, snow cones, get reloaded and head right back to the beach. So the intersection at Atlantic Boulevard and North Pompano Beach Boulevard is a pretty terrific spot for a family to set up shop for an efficient beach day. There's parking lots in the surrounding area. There's even electric charging stations for electric vehicles in some of these parking spots. As we continue to walk north along North Pompano Beach Boulevard here, you can see all the parking that I referenced. There are a number of parking lots behind me here to my left, which is just west of the beach. And then if I turn a little bit this way, you can see all the diagonal parking spots here right along the beach, which is extremely unique for many beach towns. The water playground over here by Atlantic Boulevard isn't the only notable kids playground along the beach. If we stay on the same side of North Pompano Beach Boulevard and continue walking a few more blocks north from here, right at the intersection of 2nd Street, we have the Pompano Playground. This is much more like the standard playgrounds you'd find outside of the beach area with swings, slides, and stuff like that. One of the biggest differences here is it's mostly covered. So if you're trying to limit your exposure to the sun, the Pompano Playground is definitely the spot for you and your kids. If you've ever seen anything on Pompano Beach, you know this right here is the iconic spot, the Pompano Beach Pier, big sign, which leads you out on the fishing pier to the Atlantic Ocean. 
Up and down the shore, you'll notice plenty of open space to take part in a number of activities or just simply lay out. It is a very large beach. On top of that, they have a ton of volleyball courts on the north and south side of the pier, and they host tournaments throughout the year. Fun public events are also becoming a staple of the area here in Pompano Beach. On Veterans Day, the city hosted a second annual drone light show event, which was pretty epic. If you're not familiar with drone shows, they're kind of becoming the fireworks of the 21st century. Literally hundreds of brightly lit drones in the sky forming all kinds of shapes and movements. It's really impressive stuff. And even before that, before they hosted this high-tech drone light show, they had a free concert with live music and food. When it comes to special events in Pompano Beach, they really know how to do it right. Now, don't let that take away from a lot of the fine establishments that are here on the beach around the pier. There are a number of them. For example, Lucky Fish Grill is right on the beach. It has a ton of open seating that's covered and you can order basically right from the beach and you can get your meal and have an incredible view. Now, on the other side of the pier, on the north side of the pier, which is where I'm at now, is the Oceanic. And like Lucky Fish, it has outdoor seating, but this venue has two levels, so a lot more capacity and incredible views. Also, right next to it is the Beach House, which you can see behind me. It also has two levels and incredible views. It's great for group events, date nights, and I frequently go here for lunch work meetings. Also, on the other side of the street, right across the street to the west, if you're a pizza guy like me, you have Cannoli Kitchen, which is just a great spot. It started out in Boca Raton. They branched out to Pompano and Fort Lauderdale. You can get delivery, carry out catering. So just imagine picking up a fresh pizza on the way to the beach. That's really hard to beat. And they also have great cannolis. You also have at least one national brand right here in the Pompano Beach area, which is BurgerFi. It's just a couple doors down from Cannoli Kitchen. So that's the present, but what about the future? Well, the future here in Pompano Beach looks pretty bright from my perspective. There is development happening everywhere. Specifically, there's a big project that has been in the works for a while back on the mainland. They're calling it the Innovation District. They expect to generate over 30,000 jobs when this is completely finished. It's about a 70 acre lot that they're planning to execute the master development on. And the master plan here is for offices, retail, hotel residences. And where the innovation really comes in is they're building a complex waterway system. This is really going to take some time before we see the finished product though. Well, that just about covers our Pompano Beach Barrier Island tour. If you liked it, if you found value, hit the like button, hit subscribe for more content just like this. I'm Larry Master Peary, broker owner of the Master Peary Group based right here in South Florida. So if you're thinking about buying or selling real estate, don't hesitate to reach out and we'll set something up. I'll see you guys next time.